Ganpat University in Gujarat contributes effectively to the Make in India mission of the Government of India through its industry within academia and academia within industries approach based on NEP 2022. Ganpat University has also received five star rated university award by GSIRF and also secured an impressive position in NIRF national level ranking in 2023. I am sure this rank is achieved through continuous and value-added efforts of all the institutions of Ganpat University. And today we are fortunate to have with us Deputy Provost Chancellor of Ganpat University and Executive Dean of Faculty of Engineering and Technology, Dr. Kiran Amin Sir. Hello, Thank sir. You. Welcome, sir. Thank you. So first of all, many congratulations that U V Patel College of Engineering and Technology has completed 25 years of establishment. We know that engineering and technology is effective, efficient, and sustainable field. Still, I would like to know what specialized courses you are offering at Ganpat University. Thank you, Madam. Let me congratulate each and every stakeholder of the university and especially faculty of engineering and technology. We used to offer more than 18 plus B.Tech courses and more than 10 plus master courses, and we have linked uh, every program with the industry. Uh, especially with the support of the industry, we are offering B.Tech Computer Science and Business System in support of TCS, and with the support of Infosys, we have offered the masters in Electronics and Communication in VLSI system. We are the pioneer for the marine program. and we are the unique uh, one uh, who have been offering btech marine engineering program across gujarat and in addition to that marine program we are offering uh, bsc nautical science gp rating gme that is a graduate marine engineering program and eto that is electro technical officer program uh, we have linked uh, the other center of excellence with all the programs and this is the uniqueness of uh, our uh, curriculum being one of the most blooming fields in the world engineering has ample of opportunities for creating a bright future so can you please tell me why should one join engineering programs at ganpat university uh, special as i mentioned that uh, we have linked uh, every program with the industry and we have established a center of excellence in every program and especially uh, for those students who are pursuing a btech uh, major degree they have a flexibility to pursue the minor specialization uh suppose for example the computer engineering btech student who wish to get the renewable energy degree then they have a flexibility so that uh, we are offering this minor specialization in every domain so the students would get such kind of opportunity uh the second thing is uh, the curriculum which we have designed in such a way that the students would get the emerging trends technology in their curriculum the faculties which we have as the strength of the faculty members and senior faculty members they used to conduct the theory as well as the practical work this sounds good because when students are preferring engineering in uh, college or in universities they are more uh, fortunate or they are more appealing towards the experiential learning and practical based learning so i am sure that we are following the nep 2020 in our practices at ganpat university yes yeah so many students are confused regarding their eligibility criteria so who can take admissions in this program at ganpat university uh, especially we used to uh, provide them uh, the admissions by considering the aict and ugc norms and especially for the government of gujarat the acpc uh, who have designed the rules and regulations for that and uh, for the btech program uh, minimum 12 science uh, with uh, 45 percentage which is required and specially for the category students 40% is uh, the eligibility criteria for them and for the master program uh, they should have a btech degree and uh, 50% which is expected uh, we understand for the d2d uh, the students they should have a diploma degree and uh, the students for the diploma they can opt for any course in uh, btech and uh, such kind of facilities which we are providing and specially for the professional courses Uh, the employees, those who are working at the industries, uh, they can opt for the uh, D2D, that is the diploma students. They can opt for the B.Tech courses, and the B.Tech students who can opt for the master courses along with their job. That's great, sir. If students have decided the dream course, then what are the procedures to take the admission? 
स्पेशली फॉर द बीटेक कोर्सिस द सेंट्रलाइज एडमिशन फॉर द गुजरात विच हैपन्स एंड स्पेशली विच इज मेड बाय द ए सी पी सी दैट इज द एडमिशन कमिटी फॉर प्रोफेशनल कोर्सिस दिस टाइम वी हैव ऑफर सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंटेज सीट्स टू द ए सी पी सी एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंटेज विच इज फील्ड अप बाय द मैनेजमेंट कोटा बाय गणपत यूनिवर्सिटी सो द स्टूडेंट्स दे हैव टू फॉलो द ऑल द प्रोसेस प्रोसीजर एंड द गाइडलाइन लेड बाय द ए सी पी सी दे हैव टू रजिस्टर दैम सेल्स दे हैव टू अपियर फॉर द मॉक राउंड एंड राउंड वन टू एंड फाइनली दे वुड गेट द एडमिशन स्पेशली फॉर द मास्टर प्रोग्राम Uh, the students they should have a BTEC degree and they should appear for the PG set. I recommend uh, the students uh, those who are applying for the BTEC they should have appear for the JEE and good set exam in this current year. So hands on learning is an integral part in the Faculty of Engineering and Technology as we know that. So what are the centers of excellence we have at Ganpat University to foster the knowledge and experience of the students? Uh, for the center of excellence uh, we have established uh, at uh, all the departments especially if i would like to focus on uh, the several center of excellence which we have established for the core engineering that is uh, the center of excellence with the support of the boss rexroth by the students uh, of uh, the automation side especially hydraulics pneumatics and plc all kind of training which are provided to the students uh, with the support of the boss uh, artisan training center we have established a center of excellence in electrical domain where the students of the electrical and the other areas would get the uh, hands on learning in electrical with the support of uh, suzuki motors uh, the students of the automobile engineering they uh, get to know about uh, hands on learning in automobile engineering in the soft side uh, with the support of nascom and tcs and uh, the ec council which we have established a center of excellence where the students in cyber security and every domain they used to get the learning in this particular domain Uh, especially we have established a shipping campus in the campus itself for the marine engineering program where the students of the marine along with the other disciplines would get uh, learning in the practical especially for the shipping campus so do we have any opportunities for the working professionals yes uh, as per the recommendation which are given by aict and ugc uh, there would be ample opportunities for the working professionals to upgrade their skills and qualifications Uh, the students uh, those who are pursuing for iti and they are working at industries or any professional environment they can opt for the diploma uh, the the employees those who are having a diploma degree uh, they can opt for the btech courses and those who are a btech degree they can opt for the master courses so in addition to that particular regular uh, the employment and their working they can opt for this particular courses and uh, we have provided such kind of luxury to the students where uh, the students uh, uh, especially the employees they can work uh, along with their study and uh, the saturday sunday and the during evening hours we have started their teaching learning process so they would get the benefit of that so we know that everybody is interested to get the best placement opportunity do we have any such opportunity for the engineering students where they can have the best placement assistance especially uh, the ganpati university and uh, the faculty of engineering and technology students who get the ample opportunities in placement uh, we groom them uh, in terms of we require to have the skills in by being the students uh, particularly reading writing uh, group discussion to face the interviews and everything which we are providing them and we uh, prepare them that uh, in a such a way that the students would become a complete engineers after completion of their graduation Uh, especially the students those who are interested for the placement they have to register for the placement and then we are providing the opportunities uh, for the placement the students uh, in average package uh, they are receiving a 3.5 something and uh, the highest package the students they have received uh, 12 lakh for this year and the students uh, of our uh, special the alumni those who are working at uh, reputed and renowned industries oracle the microsoft the uh, facebook and every uh, companies they are working over there and uh, we understand that uh, placement which is our most uh, priority for the students the second thing is uh, the students uh, those who are seeking uh, to uh, follow their family business they are allowed to uh, go for this particular fa family business and the students those who want to become entrepreneur even though they do not have uh, any business 
then we are providing uh, the facilities and uh, the amenities in case the students they wanted to go abroad so at that time uh, we are also providing uh, such kind of facilities where the students they can apply abroad uh, and for the further studies so i think you provide uh, lots of opportunities for the students who would like to pursue their career in engineering whether it's a bachelor or masters and they can also groom themselves to get the best employment thank you so much thank you thank you very much thank you